All right. Uh, well, good morning, everybody. Appreciate y'all being here. Um, you know, obviously, coming off uh, the game on Saturday uh, was you know a lot of a lot of really good film to go back and uh, and watch. I was I was really pleased uh, just with the fight from our players. I thought they they really competed for sixty minutes. Um, you know, defensively, it was probably our, our most complete performance that we've had. I uh, just love the, the effort, the energy, um, you know, the physicality that showed up throughout the course of the game. We knew there was, that we were going to see a, a variety of different uh, you know, looks and, and, and potential schemes in the game, and I thought our guys did a good job of handling that. Um, it really you know, made it uh, difficult for, for Syracuse to really get anything rolling. We're able to uh, you know, you know, you work to get after the quarterback, not let him get into a rhythm. And uh, you know, I thought our defensive backs you know, did a good job you know, breaking up passes, you know, playing with good leverage, you know, good technique. Um, you know, it was a you know just a really you know good performance by our guys on that side of the ball. Uh, you know, special teams. You know, we were uh, we were able to have some game changing plays and and w within those units, you know, started a few mistakes and things that we need to we need to clean up. Uh, you know, had had a, a couple penalties that really cost us from just an, uh, an absolute you know dominant performance. You know, but um, you know I thought you know, Keon's return was was a was a big play. You know, obviously great to see that. Uh, uh, you know, starting to show up. You know, it's back-to-back -back weeks with uh, returns from of over 30 yards. Um, you know, there's a lot of confidence that's building within that unit. Uh, you know, I thought Ryan was was remarkable. You know, all of his kickoffs were touchbacks. You know, he's, he he did a great job kicking field goals. Uh, just really uh, really proud of him and the and the, the strides that he's continuing to make. And then, uh, you know, Alex, you know, was able to flip the field in our in our punt uh, protection. Uh, you know, I thought I thought Jakai Douglas really made a great impact in his coverage. Him, C.J. Campbell, some guys. You know, uh, um, you know, Kalen Deloach. I mean, a lot of guys that were really showing up uh, just with uh, with great speed and energy down the field. Uh, that's helping us in those in those units. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I, was, I was really pleased with the special teams units and how we played offensively. Um, you know, I thought I thought we battled throughout. Uh, you know, there was uh, you we started fast. You know, it's good to see. Uh, um, you know, some, some you know extraordinary plays that that were made. Uh, I thought uh, you know it was you know being able to go and get that first touchdown was big. Um, you know, we had a, a, some mistakes that showed up. You know, we were as uh, you know not as consistent as I'd like us to be. You know, had some uh, uh, probably the most you know you know missed assignments or a missed signal or you know missed uh, communication as much in that game as what we had had in really any. Um, and so that was something that's just as a, as a coaching staff that you know we've got to we got to do a better job of and make sure that our guys are are uh, are ready to ready to go and execute in a, in a lot of different situations. So I'm going to take take full ownership on that. Um, but uh, you know I was I was proud of our guys how we responded and that was a challenging defense of what we played. Um, you know a lot of different looks, a lot of pressure packages, a lot of twists. Uh, you, th you know things in the in the uh, and the defensive front, I thought we handled it well. I thought our our, our guys up front, uh, you did a nice job. You know, we we really, it was a defense that was that came into the game. You know, one of the top, I think, ten teams in in, in uh, TFLs. Um, you know, we were really were able to limit the the negative plays that we gave up, and then we still had the explosive play shows up, showed up. And um, I think we had twelve explosive plays for how we how we account things, and uh, um, you know, that was big for us to to be able to to do and, and continue to, to to battle and respond throughout the course of the game um, you know it was a, it was a good team win it was one that uh, you know we're coming out of it uh, you know I was, I was I was pleased and and now uh, you know being able to jump into this week uh, you know this is it's a, it's going to be a, a fun week it's going to be one that uh, you know there's a, there's a lot of energy uh, you know, obviously you got all the the um, uh, elements around this game, you know, it's a homecoming game, you know, it's a, a Seminole Heritage uh, week, which obviously we, we, we take a lot of pride in. Um, and then, you know, obviously being being here, a sold out crowd, prime time, you know, 730, Dope Campbell Stadium, I mean, two ranked teams, I mean, what more can you ask for? I mean, this is, a, and we're playing a really good football team. Uh, Duke has, has had a great year uh, up to this point. I mean, they, they're one play away from being undefeated and, uh, you know, you see just the, the mindset uh, of how they play and what they do. I mean, it's impressive. We've got a lot of respect for Coach Elko. Uh, you know, Coach John's office coordinator, you know, I've, uh, we've, we've worked together. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very well-coached team with really good players. And, uh, you know, they've done a, they've done a, a great job in, in what they're doing. And now we get a chance to go and compete here this, uh, this Saturday night. And, uh, you know, so very excited for our players. Uh, you could feel it, you know, the energy and, and uh you know, just the sense of urgency, you know, last night in our practice and our meetings, um, you know, it's a team that's it's excited to get better. And, uh, you know, we're seeing some, 
we're seeing some positive strides in that in that direction, and uh, you know, still still things that we get to clean up and, and go improve upon. But uh, you know, really proud of our players for what we've done for the halfway point of this uh, regular season, and you know, now it's it's time to take another step, and uh, you know, they're they're working hard for it. Uh, excuse me, a couple weeks ago, I guess during the bye week, one of the things that Coach Fuller, the defensive player, were talking about was playing well when their backs weren't against the wall, but you know, just playing well at all times. Have you seen that these last two weeks, and what do you think has been the difference? In no, I mean, it, it's you know just con continued development. Uh, I mean, you know, we play a good number of guys defensively, and you know it's a lot of different combinations, communication. Uh, you know, guys just developing fundamentally, technique. You know, uh, being able to face a variety of different things. Um, you know, we've you know, you know we have a talented defense, and you know, when you have talent, when you have size, speed, you know, athleticism, uh, you know you're going to see a variety of different ways to try to attack that to keep you off balance. So you know we've seen it all in the, in the first half of this season, and uh, you know I'm sure there'll be some new things that are going to you know probably be drawn up at, at some point. But I mean there's um, you know I think our guys have uh, have really started to grow in their confidence of of the adjustments the the what they need to see or, you know what they need to do you know how how important the the finest details of communication are in a split second moment and then playing you know playing confidently through that and uh, you know I think uh, you know, they've really taken some positive positive strides through that ownership um, you know and I and I, I was I was just proud of our guys you know you know being able to get Akeem Dent back I think has really been uh, been big watching Kevin Knowles I was I mean Kevin was a guy I pointed out to the uh, to the football to him Cheyenne Brown, uh, you know, I thought they both did some really good things there in the game the other day. Uh, you're seeing the emergence of young guys coming into, you know, Conrad. Um, you know, you getting Tatum back there at linebacker here this week. I mean, but you know, seeing seeing just the, the overall group and depth as you know, as those guys are emerging and growing, um, you know, it's 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 helping us take the the, the steps necessary. And um, you know, I know the heart that our our guys have, and you know, we've seen that throughout the course of the year when they have had their backs against the wall and how they needed to respond, and they have. But uh, you know, now it's a, about you know just. Fighting for every yard. I mean, just bringing that mindset. I mean, it's you know nothing's going to come easy, and we want to make sure that you know that we do all the things necessary to force teams to have to earn it. And uh, you know, I think they've they've done a good job in, in improving in that area, and we still got some some uh, steps that are necessary and you know, some pr improvement that must must occur. But uh, you know, I think our guys have taken a great ownership in that. You spoke of MAs on offense. I presume some of that was up front with the offensive line. I know you guys were happy to have eight to play, but how much has injuries and just? Yeah, they're really the offensive line. There weren't very many actually. There was there was a handful, but I mean we had we had more things happen on the on the perimeter. I, I thought our offensive line group of understanding for what they were seeing and what we had to go against. Like I thought they they prepared really well. I thought they did a really nice job of it being on who we needed to be on. There's some technique and fundamental things that we had to get better at, uh, but there was only probably only a couple plays in the game where it's like, oh, we we missed that. Uh, so really that there was there was more things on the perimeter where, um, you know, it was either a buster route, a missed signal, you know, um, you know, a, a, an assignment of, you know, who we were going to um, in a scheme. So it just things like that that showed up in and you know, less than ideal moments, you know, and that um, that hurt us. And so, you know, it was. Uh, but I, but overall, I thought our offensive line group, you know, for having to play multiple guys, I've, I've really been pleased for how they have worked through that. And you know, we still, you know, you don't like even having a couple of them, but I think those guys have done a nice job. And for what we faced, I thought they did a a, a good job in at least understanding who to go to. You know, you know what. What we needed to, to try to, to to work to accomplish, and uh, you know that allowed us to have some of the success there uh, you know, as the game continued to progress. Real quick to follow up on the O line with the fact that they are mixed and matched, is it difficult at times to know exactly what that five does best as you're doing that? I think as we've gone through the season, you know, I think we're getting, you know, it, there's an understanding of of who and what, and you know, it's more you know, a, a collection of our group in general. And, you know, the, there might be, a, you know, a player that, that that does one thing a little bit better than others. And so, you know, but when it comes to offensive line group, I mean, we, we try to put our guys in the best position to play collectively as a as a group and as a unit. And, you know, playing multiple guys, it's, uh, you know, there has not, I wouldn't say there's just this huge difference between, you know, player A or combination A and B and C. Um, you know they're 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 all growing, and you know they're, they're you know I think Coach Atkins does a, does a wonderful job with those guys, and um, you know they've they've 
they're much like our defense as, as it's as we've had you know the three newcomers that are getting more and more reps you know you know with each other as the guys that have been here uh, guys you know you know you know excited about being able to get blessed back this week he's going to be he's going to be uh, uh, ready to go he was very close last week you know just didn't uh, I think if it was an absolute emergency, he could have probably went in. But um, you know, it was you know, we'll have him back this week, and I think that's gonna that's gonna continue to help us. But he practiced towards the end of the week, so um, you know we're excited about you know how that, that those combinations are coming together. Uh, you know, Darius went out in the game, and um, you know we'll see where that goes this week. I think he'll have um, you know a, a good chance, but you know obviously it's all part of things that uh, that uh, you know having that depth allows for for a lot of different combinations, and, and our guys embrace that and do a good job with. It. about two defenders from the same class, kind of on the same trajectory as Josh Farmer, Shaheen Brown, both seem to kind of keep getting better as the year goes on. But just like to have that homegrown organic talent develop year over year, I guess, what does that mean? The way you guys are structuring their, their no, defense. I mean, I love it. I mean, you sit, you sit there, and you see guys that are, you know, from within, you know, an hour, hour of the, of here, you know, a little plus maybe Shaheem. But I mean, it's, uh, you know, uh, to see them come in and make the impact that they're making. I think, you know, Josh Farmer, what a what a big play. You know, he's he's impacting the quarterback. He's been impactful in a run game. Uh, you know, he's playing he's playing better and better with each 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 rep that he gets, and you know, in each game. And you know, what I love is just. Uh, you know the mindset of what he's bringing in practice. You know he's making people around him better too, and uh, to see him grow throughout the program. Uh, Shane Brown, you know, really got thrust into uh, you know a, a key role this year, and you know they, he's had he's had his his uh, you know a lot of positive moments. He's had his challenging moments. You know plays that that maybe didn't look good or maybe you know needs needed to be be a little bit better. But you know his work and his response. Um, you know I pointed him out as well. You know just like I mentioned Kevin Knowles, he's another guy. You know that's you know came in and started you know started as a true freshman, but now you're seeing him, you know, grow. You've know, been able to play multiple positions, you know, in what we're doing, and uh, you know, so I, I like I like the development I'm seeing on on that side of the ball, and uh, you know, I thought our defensive front was really good. Uh, you know, Pat Payton was was impactful. Jared was impact was impactful. Uh, you know, Braden Fisk, you know, you know, Fabian, all those guys were uh, were really you know doing a doing a nice job and and disrupting what, you know what they were trying to do. So it's good to see those guys all playing together. Another defensive player, I think um, Omar Graham was up there in snaps this past week. Was that partly because of the nature of the game, or is that just like um, he's earned those snaps and is right in the rotation? No, he is. I mean, right now, you know, obviously we have, you know, I'd say the top three, the guys, you know, with um, with DJ uh, Tatum and, and Kalen. I mean, those guys are are uh, doing a doing a great job, and you know, like I said, it was good to get Tatum back in there and, and into that rotation. Um, you know, with those, but you, you see Omar. I mean, just as he's as he's growing up. I mean, he's a redshirt freshman. He's a guy that uh, you know he's he's playing faster. You know, there's a couple. You know. He played earlier in the year, um, you know, and there were a few plays where you saw a little bit of hesitation. You saw, you know, you know, in the right in the right place, but maybe not just reacting as quick as what uh, you know, you know, what we'd wanted. And uh, as these last week, few weeks have gone by, you know, really being thrust into it in in the Virginia Tech game, but then, um, you know, seeing it, you know, this last week, I mean, he's doing a, a really good job. He's a very smart football player. Uh, you know, he's got a great you know, great sense of the game. And, uh, you know, he brings speed and physicality to the position. So, uh, you know, real pr proud of him and, uh, you know, the, the reps that he's earning, you know, out there with our defense. Jordan, was it a left hand it looked like he might have? Or I guess, is he all good coming into the week? He played effectively in the second half, yeah. obviously. And no, he's, he's going to be good. And where's Johnny coming into this week? I uh, feel very good about Johnny. You know, he had uh, he progressed really well over the weekend. I was able to get get you know, uh, get, get reps into practice. So, uh, you know, planning on having him, him rolling here throughout the week. Duke's defense, but statistically, it's kind of – Mind-boggling how well they play. Great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, is it just a combination uh, of everything I, they do? What, what's the it's, strength? It is a it's a really good defensive. But it's a good football team in general. I mean, you watch them. I mean, it's but. You know they're well coached. They play fast. They're confident in what they're being asked to do. They got some. I mean, their defensive front. I mean, they roll ten defensive linemen that can all play. I mean, it is. You know, you, you look at. You know, the standard of good defenses, and this is one that you would point to. I mean, all, all 11 guys on their defense tackle, they can run, they cover, um, you know, they, they're disruptive in the schemes that they uh, they present. You know, they've got good, really good, you know, uh, you know, pressure packages that, you know, that challenge, you know, offenses and, um, you know, they just play, they play 
good. I mean, they are they're fitting where they're supposed to fit. They tackle when they're supposed to tackle, and you know you can see the confidence of how they play. You know, off and with each other. Uh, you know, through the course of a game, and uh, so you know, we we definitely have our hands full this week and in our preparation. But you know, I'm, I'm, these are the games you love being a part of. You love coaching them. You love playing them um, because it's you know, it's gonna be a lot of really good players and uh, you know some fun uh, you know, X's and O's to see if you know who can try to create any type of advantage. Hey, coach, does the preparation change, if at all, due to Riley Leonard's ankle injury? No, I mean, you, you know, we're, we're expecting, I know we went through pregame, um, you know, there in the last game, just wasn't quite ready to go. Um, you know, we're going to prepare for, for him. Obviously, you know, the, you know, this, this last week, I thought that was, I mean, the way that they played, you know, offensively, you know, hit some big plays, you know, the, the way they were able to run the football, um, you know, on, on, on no NC State's defense. And you sit there and you watch, you watch how they were able to attack that. And, you know, they, they stayed patient when they needed to be patient. They showed physicality. Uh, were able to get a couple big runs that hit and hit a couple, you know, vertical shots down the field. Um, you know, that was, it was impressive to see. You know the ten guys. You know rally behind behind the quarterback, and uh, you know, and he made plays when he needed to make plays, and that's uh, that's a tribute to to the to the coaching staff, a tribute to the kids that uh, that they have out there playing, and you know they've got some. I mean, their receiver position, they've got some some dynamic guys. Uh, you know, out there on the perimeter, and then you know the the running backs are. I mean, they are a handful. I mean, they they are really good backs. They they're patient, they're tough, and I mean they're physical. And if you get them in open field, I mean they're they're tough to bring down. So. Uh, like I said, it's, it's, there's, there's a reason why they're ranked, and uh, it's a really good football team. Um, Two-part question for, um, you know, for the wide receivers. Obviously, Johnny Wilson out. You had a couple people, J Hakeem Williams late in the game stepped up. Um, Destin Hill had a couple of catches. D Jaheim Bell had a decent game with um, his catches. Then you also, um, how did they perform with, um, with Johnny out, and what do you like from them? What do you want to see improvement? And then... Um, with Jakai, um, how do you guys rebuild his confidence? Because he's had a couple of struggles in the two games he's played. So it seems like this year so far with um, drops and um, catching a ball. Yeah, I mean for us, I mean it's it's you know guys continuing to grow, you know to, to build confidence through work, and you know we're going to do that, um, you know, and, and with every player um, that we have, and I think that's what you've seen through guys like Hakeem, uh, you know, you know Destin. I mean, uh, you know Tron really was you know, got it got a chance to get back in, you know didn't didn't have a I don't believe he had a catch in the game, but uh, um, but getting him back in, back in there and, and rolling, I mean, still you know, did some good things, uh, you know, when he was when he was out there. So it's always about you know, just building building it through the work. And uh, you know, I, I really like our receiving, you know, receiver position. I like the depth that we have. You know, Darion had a couple nice catches, and and um, you know, you know, throughout the or in the game, and um, you know, I just I see that that room pushing to get better, and that's where uh, you know ultimately. We don't know what it's going to look like game in and game out, just uh, you know exactly how it's going to play uh, with with opportunities and catches and balls. But uh, you know you got to be ready for them, and it's about doing the little things. It's about continuing to uh, to prepare and push. But uh, you know specifically on Jakai, I mean he's made a lot of great plays in his career here uh, in big time moments and big time games. And you know we're excited for him to be able to to make a huge impact. And uh, you know he's going to continue to to put himself in a position and prepare to to be in that position to, to make it happen. Going back to Duke's defense, um, have you gone up against Coach Elko before? And also, d is it just execution, and or do they do much exotically, or what's what's been the strength of his defense? No, it's uh, we have not. This is the first time that we've gone against each other, um, but uh, it's it's a great combination of of all. I mean, they, you, there's times that. They they play base base defense. I mean, they play with an aggressive mindset and just how they play, what they do, uh, whether it's line movement, whether it's you know how they fit. I mean, it's it, it's a well coordinated approach uh, to, and, and they execute really well. They have you know smart players that, that react quickly. Um, they're tough. They're physical. And then when they when they decide to, to blitz, I mean, it's there's challenges. I mean, they they try to create an extra number in the run game. You know. On most all snaps, um, you know they're going to have an edge to their defense. They're going to be fast to fit. They're, they want to be able to contain things, and um, you know they've got good players to be able to mix it up in, in uh, inside too. So, um, you know it's a like I said, it's they, they do things the right way. And you know, I, ironically, you know, uh, you know Coach Johns and I, you know, we worked together there at, at Memphis, and, and Coach Fuller and Coach Elko, they worked together in their in their past. So I mean, there's there's some unique dynamics you know, just in this in this game of guys that have. You know, relationships over the years, and uh, you know it's uh, you know 
a lot of respect goes to their to their staff because I know who they are, uh, know who they are, and my time's been around Coach Elko. I mean, I think he's a I mean, he's a class act, and you know when he when he gives a pers- you know whether it's head coaches meetings, you know when he, you can always understand his perspective of things because you know it's well thought out. It's it's uh, you know, usually just um, you know very very like minded individual. It's a two-part question, so I guess it's like a three for one. That's a, that's a three for one, actually. So. First set new uh, standards here. Well, because I mean, now we're getting a lot of two for ones. I'm just just saying. A trendsetter. <laughs> um, is Keon, in all ways, even more than you guys thought when you were getting him? And then the other thing is, um, uh, you made fun of, you had fun with your your, your sprinting on the sideline on the punt return. What, what what got you so excited about that play? Um, well, no, Keon is. I mean. We knew that we were going to get a special player. I mean, you see the flashes. Um, you know, and he had a good year, you know, last year at his previous institution, and, and you saw that. But it was kind of like with Johnny. When when we first saw Johnny, there was like, wait, I, I see how this guy can fit into this this offense. I, I mean, you just – it was something I, I felt great about. And you get to know him, and you get to understand the work ethic. You understand the, the passion and desire for more. Uh, I don't – being real, we didn't. When he was coming, he's like, "Hey, Keon, guess what? You're, this punt return deal. We we didn't talk about that. That wasn't a part of the conversation. But there was an opportunity there, and you have somebody that loves to work, somebody that wants to make an impact. And you know, I love seeing every time he gets the ball in his hand. That's a, another opportunity to impact it. And uh, you know, when it comes to our punt return game, that's we we've, we've been looking for that spark. And you know, I think we've done a good job throughout the year. For, I mean, for the most part, fielding things. You know, making sure that it wasn't. Um, but but you know. We had the big return, you know, thirty yarder against uh, Virginia Tech. That was a great, you know, great spark. And then, man, when you see him get out in the open field, and I, I just, I know the work that our players put in. And I love seeing the celebration. I mean, when he and when he got in the, the open field, I mean, all you saw was Garnet jersey. So, I figured I'd come join him. You know, I was gonna get down there as fast as I could and just, you know, be able to try to. It, it just, it's exciting. I mean, I love it. I love seeing our players when you know the work, you know the preparation, then you see the, the way that it, um, you know, can play out. And so. Yeah, I mean, I'm just glad I didn't run into somebody. Last one will be Asmar in the top right corner. Coach, you guys week to week continue to handle your business very similar to the teams that are ahead of you in the polls, but those teams have kind of been elite and hanging around the top of the, of the nation. What have you done to insulate your guys from feeling this pressure? You know, seemingly everybody in this pro, most folks in this program haven't been a part of a team that's had this pressure, these kind of expectations. What allowed you guys so far to? handle and manage it fairly well. No, I mean, I think it's 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 about us. And I know it's, you know, I said that a year ago and two years ago, you know, and the, just the way that you go through, um, you continue to grow. Because there's, pre- I mean, there's always going to be pressure. There's a, whether, you, if you don't play good, there's going to be pressure you know, on that end. If you if you are playing good, there's going to be pressure to continue to, to of, of improvement and getting better. And so, you know, just focus on the things that you can control. And, you know, we, we go out there every day and we have an opportunity to, to push to be our best. And, uh, you know, if we cho- if we choose to go and and give everything that we have to that, if we if we choose to prepare it at an elite level, then you know you're going to put yourself in a pretty good pretty good position to for that to show up on game day. And it doesn't, you know, I, and I've said this to y'all before: hard work does not guarantee success, but it does put you in the best position to achieve it. And with that, like that's what I want for our players. I mean, you go and you pour it all into it. Uh, we get one opportunity, you get one chance. Is there going to be? Do, do I think that there's players that feel the pressure of, oh man, we're six and zero, and here we go, and we got to do this, this? Yeah, I mean, I, it's human nature to want to continue to, but ultimately, it's still about you know you can't get you can't get focused on the outside and the exterior because if you lose, if you are if you're willing to give your attention to that and the pressure that comes with that, then you're going to miss out on the opportunity to, to grow and get better throughout throughout the journey and throughout the week or throughout the game. And, and there's going to be bad plays in a game. There's going to be disappointing moments that show up. You're going to get knocked down. You're going to have all of those things. But when you can you can truly stay in the moment and not start thinking of the, the consequences of all the things and just go get better, play the next snap, do, you know, do the things necessary, I think that gives you a chance to uh, – to be in the moment, and that's what I've you know asked of this team, and I've been asking them about that for the last four years, and I'm going to be asking that of them for the, for as long as I get to coach, and uh, you know that's because I believe that's what helps you, uh, you know, continue to to grow and, and get better, and you know we've got a we got a team that believes in that, and I, I really, I really think that uh, 
you know, they're handling it in a, in a good way, and we still have to get better because there's plenty of distractions out there. There's plenty of noise out there, and, you know, every day, and sometimes the noise comes from within. within. And uh, so, you know, we've got we to make sure that we're, we're, we're doing the things that we can do just to continue to grow. All right, thank you guys. Have a great day.